The Metaverse, a hype, a dream, or the future of the internet? What technologies and meta-universe already exist and what will appear in the future? How can you earn money in a meta-universe? And is it possible to move into it? And what can destroy the dream of its creation? Let's discuss all aspects and prospects in today's one video all about the meta-universe. The concept of a meta-universe was born within the science fiction genre. One of the first to use the term was Neal Stephenson in his 1992 novel Avalanche, where the meta-universe was the next-generation internet, a three-dimensional virtual world populated by avatars of real people. The bad thing about Avalanche, like Ernest Cline's 2011 novel Ready Player One, is an anti-utopia where corporations rule the world, which immediately gives the term MetaView World a negative connotation. Today, the Meta-Universe is understood as a vast network of permanent three-dimensional worlds and simulations where all events take place in real time. But at the same time, personalities, objects, and events in the Meta-Universe are constant and can be experienced by an unlimited number of users at the same time. In other words, in the meta-universe, as in reality, the actions of all users and their consequences should be preserved for all and not depend on whether you are online or not. Some experts and heads of big tech corporations believe that the meta-world is the future of the internet. But whether this is true, we have yet to find out. For now, let's see what hints to the meta-universe already exist in the universes of online games and developments of large companies. The tech giant Meta, formerly known as Facebook, has already invested heavily in virtual reality, starting with its acquisition of Oculus in 2014 and actively continuing to buy up virtual reality startups. By one estimate, Facebook has sold about 8 million Oculus Quest 2 headsets. That's not much compared to phone sales, but it is a lot compared to the virtually non-existent home virtual reality market of 10 years ago. Zuckerberg is betting specifically on the 3D world and wearable devices. He plans to bring virtual reality to life with social platforms and tools for development and creativity. The first experiment is the Meta Horizon Worlds, a VR space where users' avatars can meet, chat, and do things together. But since it's not yet completely certain that the Meta Universe will be implemented exactly in VR, in parallel, Zuckerberg's company is also exploring the field of augmented reality. And it's not just that. A new wave of VR and mixed reality headsets from Sony, Apple, and other companies is expected as early as this year. The next giant claiming to create a Meta Universe is Microsoft. The company already uses holograms and is developing mixed and augmented reality, extended reality, or XR applications on its Microsoft Mesh platform, trying to combine the real world with augmented reality and virtual reality. This year, Microsoft plans to incorporate holograms and virtual avatars into Microsoft Teams, a platform for corporate meetings and events. Also in development right now are exploratory 3D virtual spaces for retail and workplaces, as well as augmented reality headsets for the U.S. Army. Online game developers compete with the tech giants for their piece of the pie in the meta-universe. For example, the company Epic Games, which developed Fortnite, already brings together users in the meta-universe. Here are concerts of artists such as Ariana Grande and Travis Scott, released movie trailers and musical debuts. It's where they develop photorealistic digital humans using the meta-human creator. Today, Fortnite has about 350 million users, and the company plans to use its proceeds from its latest $1 billion round of funding to create a meta-universe. Epic Games' view of the meta-universe differs from Facebook's in that it wants to give users a more common space to interact with each other and other brands without a news feed overflowing the user with ads. Another entrant in the meta race is Roblox. The platform founded in 2004 uses many user-created games, including role-playing games like Bluxburg or Brookhaven, where players can build houses, work, and play out different scenarios. It's a full-fledged social interaction that's preserved over time. That is, a kind of 2D meta world. Roblox became a public company last year, and attitudes have changed since then. What used to be perceived as a toy for children and teenagers suddenly became worth over $45 billion in the marketplace. Recently, Roblox teamed up with skateboarding shoe company Vans to create Vans World, a virtual skate park where players can try on Vans gear. The company has also opened up limited access to Gucci Garden, where players can try on and buy luxury clothing and accessories for their virtual bodies. Another meta-universe for kids is Minecraft. 
It's essentially the digital equivalent of Legos, where players can create their own digital character and build whatever they want. As of August 2021, Minecraft had more than 140 million monthly active users. And in each of these gaming universes, millions of people are communicating, playing, and participating in the digital economy. Some users even make a living within these meta-universes by selling digital goods. Not all of these meta-universes require futuristic hardware. On the contrary, their popularity suggests that the smartphone and computer screens already create a sufficient sense of presence. And we agree, today it's hard to imagine that VR and AR headsets will be available to everyone before the end of the decade when a full-fledged meta-universe is expected to be developed. But then, how will the meta-universe be different from the internet? Actually, the meta-universe doesn't compete with the internet, it builds on top of it. The internet is what people browse, often alone, but in the meta-universe, people primarily interact and can, to some extent, live. Even governments can extend their influence to the meta-universe. For example, in Barbados, they're planning to open a diplomatic embassy in the meta-universe, particularly in the online world of Decentraland. Also, the meta-universe will make it possible to better combine the digital and physical worlds. For example, instead of following directions on Google Maps on your smartphone, imagine seeing them in augmented reality right in front of you. At the same time, skeptics believe that all this noise around the meta-universe is due to its novelty. The new name allows companies to avoid negative baggage associated with the internet in general and social media in particular. Again, the novelty of technology will help avoid regulation for a while, and also the hype around the topic that all the big tech companies talk about gets investors excited and directs funding streams into this area. Research and strategic consulting from Gartner recently named the metaverse as one of the top five emerging trends and technologies for 2022. VR and AR are the cornerstones of the metaverse tech. They saw $12 billion in sales in 2020, and that number is projected to soar over $70 billion by 2024. Because of this, individuals and organizations from the arts and sciences to gaming, retail, government, healthcare, and entertainment are all lining up to stake their claim in the metaverse. And one of their goals is to be able to earn money in the meta-universe. First of all, land plots and houses are already being actively traded in the meta-universe. They're not just bought for huge money but also successfully resold. Metaverse Properties is positioning itself as the world's first virtual real estate company. The company acts as an agent, facilitating the purchase or lease of property or land in several virtual worlds of the meta-universe, including Decentraland, Sandbox, Somnium, and Upland. Apart from these mentioned companies, Superworld is also a virtual world in augmented reality located in the metaverse and digitally mapped over the surface of planet Earth. Each individual plot of land measures 100 meters by 100 meters of real-world space, so virtual landowners can choose to acquire land from historical landmarks like the Great Wall to natural wonders like the Great Lakes along with other iconic or personally meaningful locations. Any user in the superworld, from content viewers and collectors to developers and marketers, can buy and sell virtual real estate on the platform with every plot of unowned property starting at 0.1 Ethereum. However, in addition to buying and selling virtual real estate, landowners in the super world have opportunities to monetize future user activity that occurs on their land through things like e-commerce, data, advertising, analytics, etc. As NFTs are programmable digital assets that can activate protocols from any economics taking place on a particular plot of land. And while we all share Earth here in real life, in the super world, an infinite number of unique digital layers means anyone can personalize and curate any location on the planet with art, music, video, and more through augmented reality. In recent months, Superworld has partnered with professional sports teams and fashion brands along with musicians, filmmakers, and even the government of Barbados, who will populate their platform with a digital embassy in the near future. For some, crossing the digital and physical divide can seem like a leap of faith, but today, Superworld has built a bridge over which migration into the immersive AR puts users at the leading edge of creativity and offers a groundbreaking new way to monetize and conduct blockchain commerce on a decentralized platform. And that's why creative artists, entrepreneurs, educators, organizations, and you have the opportunity to build a better world in Superworld. If you want to find out more, follow the link down in the description. Second, you can hang ads for your product or Instagram account or TikTok on your own real estate in the meta-universe. 
as well as ads for other people's companies by selling them space for good money. You can also create your own art and design products on your computer and upload them to the Meta Universe to sell. You can sell your experiences and skills, and not just gaming skills. You can hold parties and concerts, teach others, or resell valuable items in the NFT. In general, the Meta Universe and NFT are closely related. Simply put, NFT is a way of recording who owns a particular virtual commodity. That is, if you buy a virtual shirt on one Meta Universe platform, NFTs can create a permanent receipt and allow you to redeem the same shirt on any other platforms. Many NFT designers sell collectible avatars, such as CryptoPunks, Cool Cats, and Bored Apes, sometimes for astronomical amounts of money. Right now, it's mostly 2D art used as social media profile images, but we're already seeing some overlap with Meta Universe style services. Polygonal Mind, for example, is creating a system called Crypto Avatars, which allows people to buy 3D avatars as NFTs and then use them in multiple virtual worlds. But is it so easy to use the same avatar or item in different worlds? Here comes the biggest problem with the prospect of creating a Meta Universe platform compatibility. But that would be impossible if they were technically and aesthetically distinct from each other. Even leaving aside minor issues like file format support, something as simple as a 3D model of a hat might look good on a Roblox character that looks like a Lego, but not make sense on a pixelated Minecraft avatar. Also, an item may have a certain ability in one world, for example like playing music, that another world doesn't support. The second option is to manually create different versions of the same asset for each world. For example, Fortnite and Halo have Master Chief avatars, but with designs adapted for each game. This method may seem easy for users, but it may require a lot of work for developers and not pay off in all cases. Epic and Microsoft could win by adding popular character to a popular game. But would Microsoft really want to model their own version of every Fortnite skin for Minecraft so players could use another company's avatars in their world? A third option, available in popular world VR chat, is for players or third-party designers to upload their own 3D models with a certain set of characteristics. But uploading a model requires more work and technical skills from users. At the same time, developers cede some control over their aesthetics of their space. And if companies approach them with suggestions for licensed characters or items, they may find a world already populated by knockoffs. And this is how the concept of the Meta Universe, as seen by the heads of tech companies, is fundamentally different from the Internet. The Internet does not belong to anyone, while uniting absolutely all people. It's enough to connect to the network from any device, and the whole Internet is available to you. No company can create and own an analog of the Internet. At the same time, the existence of many separate Meta Universes will greatly reduce the value of each of them. And while the same Zuckerberg now claims he will create a platform that's open and compatible for all, will this remain true when it becomes clear what money can be made in the Meta Universe? Will Meta allow anyone to collect their digital assets and move to another compatible universe? The answer is obvious, and it's not likely. But compatibility isn't the only problem. There's also the speed lag that can prevent you from actually doing something together, and the gigantic amounts of data that will have to be stored somewhere if everyone on Earth creates their own virtual copy and profits the property of the Meta Universe, while all actions and their results must also be kept from everyone. And then there's always security issues. If the Meta Universe will not be moderated, humanity will move there with all of its problems, aggression, discrimination, violence, etc. Does the Meta Universe have a future? Definitely yes. In spite of all these problems, the concept of a Meta Universe is too tempting. A parallel world where people will have more possibilities than in real world is a dream that unites billions of users. It's a new level of convenience and comfort in terms of services, and it's an opportunity to travel while staying at home. The Meta Universe will probably start as a list of competing platforms, each of which will claim to be that dream world of a Meta Universe. But over time, however, standards will emerge, and eventually the big players will use compatible technologies, evolving into something resembling email protocols. That's how the internet as a whole currently works, in battles between agreed-upon protocols and proprietary standards, content from multiple companies and competing software ecosystems. What do you think? Let us know down in the comments. And hey, subscribe to the Pro Robot channel, like this video, and don't miss any new episodes from the world of high tech.